Hey guys, <laughs> it's been a while, so took off a little time uh, over the holidays, and uh, uh, I'm just getting back. I worked, uh, took off for Christmas, and then I worked. So today is the fifteenth and fourteenth. I worked the 13th. That was my first day back. So, uh, so I took off for Christmas holiday with the family. And then uh, a couple of days after Christmas, I flew out to Uganda uh, on a mission trip that I usually do every year. Uh, haven't done it in a little over two years because of everything going on. But I uh, finally got back and uh, was tickled to death. I got a lot of good friends and buddies over there in Uganda. Uh, that are native to Uganda, and uh, uh, so I miss them. So uh, it's hard for them to get visas to come over here. But anyway, I know a lot of you guys have been wondering how the how Fred's doing, how the Freightliner uh, uh, M2106, how it's doing, and how the Caterpillar's doing. And so I thought I'd do an update video on about how things is going. So I have put... So I bought it, it had 78,000, and it's got nearly 88,000 on it now. So I put nearly 10,000 miles on it, and I'll go over some things that I've done to it. And so stay tuned. Here we go. So one of the first things that I've done to it is... I guess because it had set up so long, I developed, uh, you, you can't see it because I cleaned it up, but right about in there, I had developed a, uh, a valve cover gasket leak, and uh, it was leaking, and uh, had I noticed one day it had oil in that general area, and it wound up being a valve cover gasket leaking, so... While I was off for two weeks, or while I was going to Uganda for two weeks, I was off nearly four weeks in total. But anyway, while I had the truck shut down and I was enjoying the holidays and all, put the truck in the shop, had that fixed, and got that all cleaned up. I don't like leaks. And then while I had it in there, I had the oil changed. And before I left, right before I left, um, I changed the fuel filters, or the, the fuel filter on it, so got that all done. Also, let's see, let's go inside. So, something that had been giving me a little bit of an issue, like right after I bought it, but right before I went on holiday, it quit, is the fan on the heating and air and we had some extremely extremely cold weather here right before christmas and the fan would come on and go off as it felt like it and so i had uh while i was in the shop they put like a harness a control thing i mean about everything new under there they fixed and, and got that back going also you can't see it because it's not on right now, but uh, when I was put the truck under a load, when I would put the truck under a load, the check engine light would come on. And there was some crazy 
Like somebody had put a tuner on this truck or attempted to put a tuner on this truck, but I didn't have nothing with it. And the guy I got it from said that was how it was when he got it. And he didn't have nothing with it. It was a little box, a control box that was plugged in. And they thought that was what was kicking the check, check engine light on. So they had undone all that. And then when I tried it again, it's still coming on. But I thought I heard them. They've ordered a part for it. They didn't get it fixed while I had it down there. But I thought I heard them say an oxygen sensor, oxygen flow sensor or something like that. But anyway, that's ordered. They know what it is. They put it on the computer and seen what it was. And so they've got that ordered. So I'm going to get that fixed. So, so what did we talk about? We had the valve cover gasket. Check the engine light, change the oil, change the fuel filter, fix the fan on the heating and air. Pretty much it. I think that's everything we've worked on. Um, but update on how I like it. I love it. I wouldn't go back to the Ram. I just, I love this truck. Uh, I strongly recommend it. I got friends that are uh, running hot shot and they've asked me about it. I said, if I was running over the road, I definitely, definitely, definitely have one. Um, and so it just, it's a smoother ride. You set up over the traffic. You're not sitting down low. Um, it's, it's a, just a bigger, heavier truck. You're not maxing out the 3,500 Ram that I had. I still got, I hadn't sold yet, but it seemed like what I was doing with it was maxing it out. This I'm not even getting close to maxing this out. I mean, it is just a beast of a truck. I love the ride. I mean, it is just a, I mean, I guess the best way to describe it is it's a mini semi, uh, but it's plenty big enough for what I do. The the work I do, it's, it's still a little overkill, but I'd rather have a truck that's way bigger than what I need is to have a truck that I'm maxing out. And so... I like that. Uh, can't really think of any negatives about the truck right now. That uh, my slight negative might be that it burns just a tad bit more fuel. I'm probably getting about, uh, well, I've checked it. I'm getting about two miles per gallon less. But to me, it's worth it with everything that I've gained. Uh, I actually have room. Y'all know, y'all seen the video. I've got my own bathroom in here. I don't have to worry about looking for one or walking across a dangerous plant to get to one or having to ask directions to find one and then getting there and it just be god awful nasty. And so I got my own. I can keep it clean and, uh, you know, I, just right here. Now I stop at rest stop still. I use this when I need to, but I've got it if I need it. Uh, so I didn't have that kind of room in my ram. Uh, if I did go back on the road, I've got a major area back there that I can make a sleeper. So, so it's all good. So I am a, I've gone from being a ram Cummins guy. Now I will say this, if I had a chance to get a Cummins, I'd buy a Cummins. But I love the Caterpillar. Uh, I've got friends that's got Caterpillars. My nephew and my brother-in-law, they say they're great motors. It's a C7. They say it's a good motor. It'll be great for what I do. But if you ask me my recommendation, I'd go, this is how I would list it. Because these come in about three different motors. There may be another one I don't know of, but Cummins is my number one pick. The Caterpillar, my number two pick. Personally, I went and buy the Mercedes. Personally. I'm not going to get in a lot of that on here. Even if you comment about it, I'm not going to talk about it. A lot of people's had good results with them. But my inbox is full. And then I've got friends. And it's just a long story. But I wouldn't buy one with a Mercedes. It may be great. You may have one. You may love it. Good for you. I'm saying I wouldn't. If I'd had a choice, I'd bought the Cummins. But... The, the deal I found was Caterpillar. So I went with Caterpillar. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's got plenty of power for what I do. I only run hot shot. I pull mountains very rarely. Uh, and uh, it gives me plenty of power. I can set the cruise run. It ain't swapping gears. Those that don't know, it's a C7 Cat with a six-speed uh, automatic Allison transmission. 
Um, there's some more things I'm going to do to it. I need to paint the top of the truck. The paint's not doing well on the very top. It's a big area, a lot of heat. And so I've got to paint that. Uh, and I'll probably have some boys paint that for me the next holiday I take off. I'll line that up and get some boys to put a fresh coat of paint up there. Um, I've got some more videos I'm going to do about some different things that I bought for the truck that I may like or not like. And I'll do some of them videos a little later on. Maybe now that I'm back, I can stay caught up with at least trying to do one video a week or if not, one video every other week. So, I'm doing a lot of shorts. I think you guys like them a lot more. Uh, and thanks to one of our shorts, we're getting a little bit of notice. Uh, we're, we're attracting the attention of some sponsors with our views on our shorts. And one of them done really good. And so for me, for a little channel, and uh, I got some more stuff to talk about that later down the road. So anyway, if you guys ever have any questions, I'd be glad to help you if I can. I'm not a pro. I've not been doing this but about two years. Uh, so I don't know everything. I'm not a mechanic. I don't know all the mechanic stuff. Uh, and so do everything based on your own knowledge and things you find out. But I'll help you if I can. Just leave a question or in the comment section. And if I know the answer, I'll give it to you. If not, if I know somebody that does, uh, I'll refer you to them. By the way, if you're interested in sport chassis type trucks, this is not a sport chassis. It resembles a sport chassis, but Freightliner did not. Freightliner built the truck and the chassis, but they didn't make all the add-on accessories and stuff. This was not built at Freightliner factory with all the custom features. This is not off the assembly line sport chassis. This is a, uh, I forgot what it is. But anyway, uh, my mind just went blank. But it's not the sport chassis. But if you're interested in those sport chassis type trucks like this or a true sport chassis, Adventures in Trucking is a great channel. You can check out they run a true sport chassis with the cummins motor so uh and they they got a really good channel there may be others if y'all know of other channels that are running these type trucks i'd like to know because i'd like to follow them and uh, could i get a lot of information uh tips and tricks from my buddies over at adventures and trucking super nice guys they're from over in georgia and i'm in alabama so we're sort of neighbors and they roll through here this area quite a bit birmingham area uh, down south of me, and then I run through Birmingham quite a bit. So we cross paths sometimes, never met them, but they seem like great guys. So, but, so y'all can go check out their channel. So, all right, guys, I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Thank you guys for supporting us. Because of your support, I'm able to do some of this stuff, and, uh, uh, I just appreciate it. I'm having fun doing this. I hope you guys get something out of it. And, um, uh, Check out my Hot Shot in Uganda short video I posted uh, while I was gone. I may post some more Uganda clips in there. If you want to watch them, watch them. If you don't, don't. Just, uh, I don't figure I'll be posting too many. I didn't do too many while I was over there. But uh, I just thought you guys might like to see some of the way they move uh, freight over in Uganda. So, all right, guys. Have a great day. Have a safe trip if you're out working today. And remember what I always say. If you want to have a safe trip, you got to start out doing a safe thing. Inspect your truck, your trailer, and your equipment. See you guys.